Okay. Catching the roundhouse kick. If someone goes to kick you, let's do it this way. What we don't do is get hit. So if you hit me into the body, that's going to hurt my ribs, break my ribs, win me, etc. I don't really want to put my arm there either. If I put my arm there just to brace, he kicks full power, that's literally like 80 miles an hour. Someone's swinging a baseball bat across my arm. You get broken arms from that all day long. So, with other defenses like blocking or moving, you've got catching, right? Five points you need to now remember when you do a catch, right? So when Seth goes and kick me, the first thing I want to do is move off the centre line. So I want to move to my right, probably about one step, right? So as he throws the kick, I step off the line, and I want to catch the leg. Shush. Watch this. So, first thing you need to do is step to the right, and I catch it, okay? So point number one is to move off the centre, right? That reduces the power when you catch the kick. Point one. Point number two. Catch it on the ankle, right? Don't try and catch on the foot or high up on the calf or on the knee. I want to be just in the right distance and catch it on the ankle, right? So my arm over wraps it and I put it just under here. Point number three, squeeze this nice and tight. If this is loose, get your leg out. It just pulls his leg out. Or he twists it down and gets it out. Or he brings it back towards him and kicks me off or punches me. Okay, so you can bring it back and then front kick me. Yeah. Okay, so I step, I catch it on the ankle and I squeeze it, get leg out. Okay, you can't get it out because I'm squeezing it tight. Point number four, lift it up close, right? He's quite comfortable there, he can punch me in the face, he can elbow me. So what I want to do is lift it up so now he's on the back foot. I walk forward slowly. Okay, just so that he's now thinking about his balance and he's not comfortable. Point number five, for a big punch, or you would sweep the leg with a variety of different sweeps. But we'll go for the punch. Because as soon as you've got to move backwards, you'll have done that straight through their head. Okay? Five things you need to do now. Watch. Number one, step to the side. Number two, catch it on the ankle. Number three, squeeze it tight. Number four, lift it up with the on the back foot. And then depending on the distance, you can either punch them or elbow them straight in the head. And then give them their leg back. Okay? If you just go like this, kick me, and try and catch it, it's no good. Right? You've got to do those right things. Step, catch on the ankle, squeeze it, lift it, and then throw something towards them. Okay? So he does it half, go kick, and I come here. And you can elbow, you can knee, you can do stuff like that. You need to get those first four points perfect, right? So, point number one is what? Step move. Point number one is what? Step to the side. Step to the side. Point number two is what? Catch on the ankle. Catch on the ankle. Point number three? Squeeze it tight. Point number four? Lift it. Lift it and move forward slightly. And then point number five? Hit them as hard as you can with something, okay? Do that with a partner. Go through all the stages, okay? Nice and technical, let's do it on the back. Just gonna do that in a combo, but don't rush it. You wanna take your time with it, okay? There's no point in it really fast if I get the technique right. Drill it so you get it perfectly every single time. Just start off slow. Usually if you hear someone with a good technique, so if I go jack cross with the back end, then I throw a right knee on the pad. And it lands nicely, you pull around it, I'm going to kick it back. Then I want to catch it, get it nice and technical, like the points we were just saying. He's got short legs from me, right? So we're going to get any closer. So I probably wouldn't punch him, I'd probably try an elbow. Same as when he said he had longer legs. If someone's got longer legs, you might not be able to reach him with a punch. You can swing him and kick, so you'll have to judge the distance, right? But if you start with, you're going to throw a nice crisp one to this. So I go, I put it with a kick, knee <laughs> weight, go to kick me back, but let your partner have a second to set themselves. Step to the side, catch on the ankle, squeeze it, lift it, move forwards, depending on the distance, you can punch it or go on. And then give them their leg back and then go back to stance. So, do that for the first round. One, two, kick. Over right catch. Sorry, my bad. Did set to the side, wasn't Go. One, two. Kick. He kicks. So I step, catch, 
squeeze and lift, and then elbow, give him the left hand. Make sense? Yeah. Any questions? All right, off you go then. Okay. 
You've got to be really careful with that because any sort of like increased pressure on that knee, it's just going to dislocate. So you guys got to look after your partner. I would advise not touching them, all right? So you've got two advanced ones. So when he kicks, I can catch, I overwrap and I come this way. Or he kicks, I catch it long and then I side kick that knee out or I can stop kick that knee. Okay, so kick one of those if you want to work and just do it nice and technical, nice and slow. So we'll change the start again. You'll go jab, cross, hook, cross. Yes. Up, 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 up. Throw to right kick. I kick him back, which one do you want to do? Uh, and, oh, elbow. Okay, so I give him the kick. Throw two punches first. When you hold the pads for this one, hold them far away from your head. Don't hold them here. But we'll be treated. You spin back elbows. That should land nice in. Cut the over. So Ross does that one again. Right here, right here, catch these overwraps. I right, sorry, yeah, no, two punches, right there. Got those, two punches. Steps over, overwraps, and I'll get on the contact. One, two, three, two, kick. Catch, two punches. Overwraps, elbow. Oh. Make sense? Do not touch them on the leg ones. Don't trust you. Okay? Off you go!